Hey, I'm Zach. Welcome to another edition of our Autonomous Driving Future. On today's episode, you're going to learn about all the money you can save when cars drive themselves. Whenever I watch science fiction movies and I see all those spaceships and the doors, I think, wow, the future's gonna be expensive. But the good news is that I've been running the numbers and when it comes to our autonomous driving future, we're actually gonna be saving money over what we spend on transportation today. So in previous episodes of our autonomous driving future, we learned that when cars drive themselves, there'll be far fewer cars, 90% fewer cars, in fact. And when Americans don't have to buy all those extra cars, they're going to save $500 billion a year. And cut! Okay, $500 billion saved a year. I know, right? That's enough cost savings for me. Let's wrap this up. This episode is over. Uh, wait, not so fast there, director. We're not done saving money yet. In our autonomous driving future, we'll only have 25 million cars on the US roads. That means there's over 225 million cars that we won't need. That's 225 million cars that we don't need to buy car insurance for every year. And 225 million cars that we don't need to get car inspections for. 225 million cars that we don't need to pay license, registration, and taxes on. 225 million cars that we don't need to maintain. Okay, so what does that total so far? 1 trillion, 108 billion, 950 million dollars of savings every year. And cut! Yeah, 1 trillion dollars? Perfect, that's a wrap. I know. Can't argue with those numbers. Self-driving cars it is. Hang on, we're not done. There's even more cost savings than that. <sighs> in the US in 2016, there were 6.3 million car accidents with 4.6 million serious injuries requiring medical attention. The cost of those accidents, including medical expenses, wage and productivity losses, and property damage, was $304 billion. In another episode, we talk about how many of those car accidents won't happen when we switch over to our autonomous driving future. But for simplicity's sake, let's be conservative and say that since there will be 90% less cars on the road, there will be 90% less accidents than we had last year. Even though, honestly, the number is going to be far less when cars can drive themselves. So at a savings of 90%, we just saved over $273 billion a year. Yep, you made your point. Okay, let's shut this down. Wait, Get no, him wait, out of here. I, no, no, wait, wait, you don't understand. See, wait, there's, I, I'm not done yet. You, there's cost savings. You see, autonomous vehicles will be electric. And as we know, electric vehicles are far more efficient than internal combustion engine or ICE cars. In fact, some of the best-selling EVs get three to five times the efficiency of the average ICE car. Americans drive about three trillion miles every year. As we'll see in an upcoming episode, we'll be car sharing far more in the future, which will reduce this number. But we'll just say to keep things simple that the 25 million self-driving cars on the road will be driving about the same number of miles as we drive today. So if we take the fuel efficiency of the average car on the road today, which is 25 and a half miles per gallon, and divide that into 3 trillion, we get 117 billion gallons of gasoline used in 2016. Multiply that times the average price for gas in 2016 of $2.35 a gallon, and we get $276 billion saved in gas per year. Now, we will have to pay for electricity. So if we assume that the average EV's use is 333 watt hours per mile, then we'll need 1 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity. The average cost of electricity in 2016 was 12 cents a kilowatt hour. So the electricity would cost $127 billion. That's still a savings of $148 billion. And all that gas we won't be burning anymore means that we won't be polluting anymore. And that has a savings. In fact, according to the American Lung Association, there is an unpaid cost of $1.30 per gallon of gasoline in unaccounted health damage costs, like lung cancer and heart attacks, and societal damage costs, like missed work and climate damages. So that's another $152 billion in savings. 
And with no more traffic jams like we discussed in a previous episode, we save another $160 billion a year. And parking lots. Right, I, I almost forgot about parking lots. In a previous episode, we saw how parking lots cost us $500 billion a year. When the autonomous driving future arrives, we won't need parking lots anymore. We'll get all that space back and we'll save all that money. The U.S. national debt is $19.8 trillion, so that's about 12% of the U.S. nation's debt. Heck, we could pay that sucker off in no time if we switch to electric autonomous vehicles. Now let me out of here. I know how we could pay off the national debt. Guys? Hello? Hello? And we won't need driver's licenses. Or, or to pay for driver's license exams. Or trips to the DMV. Car fresheners. No, we'll probably still need those. 